Cabernet open bottle to the face. She put on makeup, but I make her wash her face. She asked me what I want from her. I want some face. She got romantic. She just I'm don't know what to so that's what I told him, right? And then I seen the dude <laughs> when I walked in that shit, right? Uh, Motherfucker, I stay active like I don't know who you are. I don't need no conversation. We are best when we are far. We, we are ain't making no money. Why the fuck even collide? You just seem to talk a lot, but your actions don't fall in love. I keep the habits around like I keep emails from my past. Truth the pop with and five years later, they still let me get ass. And catch a tag after my smash, I hope a man never see that. All right. Check one, two, one, two. Holy shit. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, and hybrids. My name is Gad Zooks, and I'm here with my friend, Self Provoked. We're coming to you live from Barbarian's Barbershop in beautiful and low-key racist downtown Fullerton. They're located at 825 North Harbor Boulevard. They're kind enough to let us uh, not only do this here, but they, uh, they're totally fine with us smoking weed in here, which a lot of other people were not fucking with, so... We very much appreciate them for that. Uh, and speaking of weed, all of our various marijuana consumables were provided by the good people at Space Ape. They have vapes and edibles and wax and just plain weed for whoever still smokes that. They even have merch and dope things to wear. Check them out at SpaceApeUniverse.com. Once again, that's SpaceApeUniverse.com. You can also find them on Instagram at SpaceApeUniverse. Last but absolutely not least... We're brought to you by our good friends at Stay Illuminated. They're a personal sponsor of myself, um, as well as Self Provoked and most of the members on on a high note of on a high note rather. Um, I'm sure anyone who follows either of us is well aware of Stay Illuminated. Uh, check them out. Stayilluminated.com is the website. Most of the photos on there are mine. Uh, get yourself something cool to put on your body. They have hats and <laughs> sweaters and whatnots. Stayilluminated.com. Check them out. Support good people. All right, God damn it. That That's was good. Business. That was good, right? Yeah, round of applause. Well, thank you. You guys hear that? He said round of applause. I don't hear no goddamn applause. There it is. There it is. I'm probably sweating like a motherfucker. You my are. Head, is my head glowing? Yeah. Can I, uh, wardrobe, can I get a towel, <laughs> please? Uh, like whoever can, that'd be tight. There you go. You don't even introduce yourself, though. I Have think, you? I think oh. I did. Oh, shit. I'm but I'm Gadzooks. I'm, I'm Gadzooks. Yeah, Some people yeah. might know me as Zach uh, specifically. Oh, thank you, sir. Specifically, like, if you're my grandma, you probably know me as Zach. Uh, if you are my grandma, yeah. um, I love you, and please stop <laughs> listening now. <laughs> just don't don't ever listen to anything I do. Yeah. I would that just make life a lot easier. Um, well, since he really didn't introduce himself, this motherfucker name is Gadzooks. Dope-ass writer. Fucks with a lot of my boys and oh, shit. Oh, thank you, you sir. Know? You know, so, like... So I decided to hit him up and shit because he's a very interesting interesting writer. So I'm sure he, he has come up with a few <laughs> interesting topics for me to or for us to speak about today and shit. Eh. And we're just trying to fucking let you guys give a give a little insight of what the fuck runs through our brains and shit. You know, especially since it's 420, y'all probably stoned as fuck. That's very true. Yeah. I'm a little worried just watching you roll up the weed. Yeah. I feel like anyone who follows me knows that I'm not very good at weed at all. Yeah, you know what? I don't even roll that many blunts. I roll joints. So I'm going right. to roll blunt today because that's what we got. Ooh. But okay. it's all good. I okay. love blunts when I do. I'm drinking beer and that's probably a bad idea because I want to burp. I'm drinking beer too. I could burp, right? This is our yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. We can do it the way we want. God damn. That was very, very, very rude. <laughs> um, that's, that's terrible. God damn. There's all kind of hair. See, this was on purpose. I know it. So we're at a barbershop, and my friend Drew, who owns the barbershop, just gave me a towel, and there's a bunch of other people's hair on it, and uh, now I need a shower. Talking about hair, I think my hair's falling off. I think I'm going to be bald like you and why not not eventually. See, that's a, my hair hasn't fallen off. Uh, I've shaved my head, okay. but, but my hair is thinning, so like my theory is if you shave your head before you go bald, you're just the guy with a shaved head the rest of your life. But if you go bald and then you shave your head because you're going bald, you're just the guy who started going bald and you shaved your head because yeah. of it. It's some insecurity what shit. What age did you start getting, like, w w when did your hair start thinning? Uh, Fucking recently. Like, oh, in really? the last uh, probably year. I'm fucked. My shit's been thinning since last year, I think. Yeah. The How size's been getting a little thinner and shit. Uh, I'm fucking 24. I'm 24. Right? Yeah, okay. It's all the stress. Probably, dog. I've been stressing about this shit for 48 hours. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so you hit me up and you wanted to do this and you're... 
if my memory serves me, your idea was you wanted to get too high. I wanted to get, you know, I think we're just going to be high enough. And, you know, I've been smoking prior. And sure. now I'm catching up with the little beer. And every time yeah, I yeah, mix yeah. the two, you know, I might like feel a little she gets stimulated. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you know. Okay. Take advantage cool. of it. Um, I don't know if I've, I, I'm almost certain I've never told you this, but the way I first became aware of you, it's weird because I spent 10 years working at a community college, right? Mm. And just doing cash register shit and whatnot. And at the time, so this was, um, I want to say probably about 2011 maybe. And I was working the register and I was rapping at the time, right? right? Doing that whole thing. And working at a community college, it was, I kind of had an advantage because I'm around like younger cats all the time, you know? So every once in a while, you know, people would come in by their Mountain Dews or whatever. And, you know, if they look like rap types, I would slide them a fucking, a mixed, you know, a mixed day, a, a flyer for a show or whatever, just swallowing loads and loads of pride. Right. And just, <laughs> just slow it, slide it to them. Um, and so one day this cat came in and he had earbuds in and I could hear that it was obviously rap music. Right. And I had, I don't know if I had a show coming up or what, but I was like, all right, that's, this is cool. And he had only one earbud in. So I'm like, all right, where did he hear me if I talk to him? I'm like, hey, uh, I ring him up. I'm like, hey, can I ask you, like, what are you listening to? He's like, oh, uh, this dude called Self Provoke. Uh, have you heard of him? I'm, and I'm like, oh, yeah, do I know Self Provoke. And I, that was a complete lie. Like, I had never heard of you, right? <laughs> and I was hoping that he didn't ask me, like, to elaborate or whatever. Yeah. And he didn't. And so I was like, tight. So I'm like, all right, man, be easy or whatever. And then I immediately went to my computer and I Googled you. And, uh, you came up and I was like, God damn, this was like a hundred thousand videos and all of them have like hella likes. And then I found your Facebook. I'm like, damn, we have like mad, uh, mutual friends. Mm -hmm. Um, and so that was kind of my first, you know, peek into your life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. so, you know, I know a lot of artists as you do too. We, we know a lot of artists and, uh, what kind of goddamn that blunt is scaring me. <laughs> Um, I'm afraid for you. I know you're a professional. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so what separates you from a lot of the artists is that like a lot of us, whether, you know, we write or take pictures or rap or kind of do a combination of all of them, we, we're all doing it kind of on the side of our, of our main gig, you know, whether mm -hmm. that's a, a nine to five or, or whatever, even like a family or you, this is kind of all you do, right? Like, this yeah. is how you get money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. Like, yeah. Because that's kind of everyone's end goal, I think. And you're one of the only people in the scene, I think, that can say that. Yeah, well, one in a few. Um, well, depends what scene you're speaking about. Sure. <laughs> but, um, sure. Yeah, just fuck. I don't know. I just fucking. So, like, yeah. well, well, take take me, like, what's a what's an average day in the life of self revoke look like? Like you don't have to could because you strike me as someone who's self-disciplined enough that even though you could sleep till two o'clock in the afternoon, which I'm sure you have those days, but uh -huh. you strike me as someone who's kind of an early riser. You like, yeah. you don't like to let the day get away from you. Well, I can't, I can't sleep in period. Like I wake sure. up, if I go to sleep at four in the morning, I'm waking up at six in the morning, seven in the morning, Regardless. Eight, eight in the morning tops, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So I have like this little fucking internal alarms fucking system inside of me. So shit, I wake up, bro. I just fucking see what errands need to be done in order for me to move step by step to these my, are like my rap errands, agenda. right? Like yeah, merchandise errands, sure. or like uh merchandise rapping even if it's just fucking smoking weed at, what i do a lot i smoke a lot of weed at a cemetery by my house and that's where i brainstorm ideas of what to do next i have my little notebook and i just post up it's like nobody's there so post part up. of your daily agenda is yeah. like okay, daily I'm gonna go get, daily I'm gonna like go every day I go to cemetery this, yeah cemetery by my uh, that's by so my tight yeah what that's i go so there tight. almost every day my home no is buried there so i just okay go to this little gravesite and i'll just like smoke some weed and just have my little notebook and write down ideas sure. and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, I do that probably like maybe around 10 in the morning, 11 in the morning, unless okay. I have a, cer a certain errand to run before. Okay. But uh, th that's almost in my uh, everyday agenda and shit. Okay. Yeah. But cool. a lot of thinking, a lot of errand running, a lot yeah. of uh, hearing what I've recorded and like what type of music video or what do I see. Because mm. right now I'm, gonna tr I'm trying to like uh, step up my music video game. Because sure. I'm sure many people are aware that I've just rapped in front of a camera <laughs> for many of my videos. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so next uh, 
the new shit we're dropping, I'm trying to kind of be a little bit more creative with it and trying to brainstorm before trying to I make start movies dropping and shit. shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Trying to just entertain people a little more. Yeah, yeah. That was the first thing that kind of blew my mind when I became aware of you was like how many music videos you have. And that was yeah. years and years and years ago. Um, do you have any idea how many music videos you have? Do you ever keep a tally? No, I don't. You don't? I don't. Spitball it. Like, what do you think? Maybe like, I don't even think I've passed 20 yet. Or have 20 I? 20 music videos? I don't know. I don't know. I think I don't think I've passed 20. Maybe I'm just exaggerating. Maybe 25. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. But like every one of them shits have... Yeah, they know. have their views. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they have their views. What's your most viewed? Shit, I don't know, but I think it's reaching 2 million for the Silly Rabbit. I haven't, oh, okay. I haven't checked up on it That's recently, what I meant. Like what video? Yeah, Silly Rabbit? Is yeah, the, I think yeah. It's Silly Rabbit. And then me and you... What? Me and you and Silly Rabbit are my first videos to reach past a million. And I haven't looked at like the views uh, recently, recently, so I I really okay yeah I wouldn't know yeah, yeah 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 I was in one of your videos recently yeah I think your Jiggy latest Jiggy. video Jiggy Jiggy yeah. I look faded because I was <laughs> faded yeah 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 that was that was a good time yeah, um, yeah. that was at Tony's house shout out to Tony stay yeah. illuminated and he takes care of us Hell is yeah. he not it's yeah. the homie right there. yeah man um so I mean I guess that was kind of gonna be my next question but you kind of answered that in a sense like what is it like having so many goddamn followers like is is there a certain amount of pressure or do you not think of it uh i probably thought it was cooler back in the day like it's dope for what i'm doing because it shows that i'm uh, i'm Reaching doing what people. i should be doing sure, you know but sure. uh, uh it's cool it's dope fucking yeah. it's it's crazy getting recognized in the streets for sure i'm an awkward motherfucker so when, when I people like come up though. to me it's yeah. just fucking funny dude <laughs> hey are you so pro i'm like yeah, how you doing? <laughs> just, I'm just very weird and shit. Yeah. Awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you. It, like me, yeah. <laughs> There's a funny story we were at, and I'm actually writing about it, but, you know, whatever. Uh, when we went to uh, Wino's release party, <laughs> you and I have never really spoke about this, but I spoke to everyone else about it. But uh, I was, like, obviously panicking or whatever. <laughs> at the and, and we just happened to be in front of the big-ass speaker, and you walked up to me, and you're like... <laughs> We had already said what's up or whatever. So you came up to me and I'm like panicking, looking around. I don't even know what the fuck I'm looking for. And uh, you're like, hey, uh, you're socially awkward, aren't you? <laughs> and I look at him like, well, fuck now. You know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, and so you were talking and I was listening. But again, we were in front of the speaker and I didn't know what to say. I was just trying not to freak out or whatever. And you're like, yeah. So anyway, it's kind of a deep subject for for the setting. Like, yeah, no doubt. And then you walked away and I walked away. And that's the last time we talked that night. Yeah. or whatever yeah, yeah um so it was funny you're all fidgety in the middle of like a bunch of people you're just looking left and right i was like yeah, this was awkward as fuck right now. <laughs> i don't mean to be hey, no, I feel you. it I it blows my mind that other people aren't you to be honest see, i feel you you, you feel should me? see me in line like at a, at a restaurant waiting to order you know and i'm just standing by because i eat probably like 90 percent of the time i'm eating by myself at a restaurant yeah and I feel like i'm like standing in line by myself and i just don't know what to do with my hand i don't know what to do with my hands i yeah. don't know what to fucking like fucking i don't know what to look at like so i just pull out my phone and just scroll through i was bullshit. just i was just gonna say that yeah. yeah i kind of i've thought of that before like you know everyone says if you walk into a crowd like 90 percent of the people are going to be on their phones yeah do you think that's because they're addicted to their phones or do you think that's because most people are socially awkward anyway and they just do a better job at fighting it and now that they have a vice they're just yeah. like oh fuck i'll just yeah. retreat to my phone Probably both, because I catch myself on the phone a lot when I'm by myself, too. Hell, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. But, Do you ever fake talk on the phone? Like, when, you know what? I've done that a few times. Oh, shit. Yeah, All the time. Yeah, like, for me. Yeah. When I'm, like, panic, like, when I started getting, I used to do it a lot, actually, when I first started experiencing panic attacks. Yeah. I used to just, like, I feel like a hot flash and get lightheaded, and my heart starts beating. I'm like, yo, I'm going to pass out. So I just pretend to get on the phone and just fucking walk out the fucking packed room and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, done it many times it actually. works right yeah it works a lot because on the other hand especially if they know who you are they're like oh he's handling business right now he's on the phone he's on an important <laughs> call you're all it tripping looks balls and <laughs> yeah 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 exactly i just want to run away yeah for sure um so like fuck segues right like i don't like segueing into questions so i'm just gonna ask you like yeah fuck it just do yeah. it yeah if you weren't a rapper if you weren't making like a living doing what you're doing what would you be doing uh probably something either i don't know i could only assume but it could either be maybe in the weed community because okay. i like i like weed and, and, yeah. and i see how you can make money off of it sure um if if it's not that 
I just mean shit, like I, I still I still I like I I, I I don't know what I would be doing. That's a yeah. fucked up question. I, I mean, I'm that guy. I'm going to ask <laughs> you. You know what I mean? Uh, but like, uh, do you have any like family members? Like, do you have an uncle who's a mechanic that you could always get work with? You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people have family members they can fall back on if, if they needed to or whatever. Like, I like uh, that you don't know because it tells me you're on some fuck plan B. Dan, you know what's crazy? I don't know what my family does. I just know what my mom and my dad do. Like, okay. I don't, I'm not really close to my uncles or my cousins or anything sure. like that. Um uh shit i don't know bro i'll probably be fucking like getting in trouble or something yeah <laughs> you know, like yeah 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 tagging yeah. and shit yeah but uh because you have a lot of that right in your past with graph uh, yeah oh yeah that's, that's how it all started started right yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's how it all started i've been yeah. tagging since i was a little fucking kid that didn't know anything about it i was just like with a spray can tag but like shit. real <laughs> tagging right because i i went through a graffiti phase mm -hmm. but like i've always been an artist like i've i i start like my first art form was drawing right mm -hmm. so then i got into hip-hop and they like i'd already been drawing whatever so you know watching fresh prints and all that shit like i saw graffiti so i'm like i already draw i could just draw letters like but i wasn't a tagger you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah so like like you were really out there no i was painting i i billboards freeways fucking all this shit i got my house raided because of it oh shit uh had my family fuck i had my mom and my dad handcuffed in our living room because of that song shit. about like, that he, yeah handcuffs yeah when yeah. i talk about it, it seems like i'm talking about a girl but i'm talking right. about the cops right, right. Since i remember that time you came over my house storm brightened made my parents sit on the couch woke me up in my box that morning but there was no reason at all to be horny it's the police, the police, what I'm talking about the police, the police, the police, the motherfucking yeah. police Made me put my hands up, touch me on my body Am I the only somebody? Made me put my hands up. Yeah, but for sure, Graph is like a big, like all my homies are still paying You know, I started yeah. a crew in 2006 and I shit's still running and it's like stronger than ever right now, you know And yeah. I'm not in charge of it no more, like I'm, um, they're still paying, they're still doing their thing All of them are way better than me now You're probably a better rapper than all of them though F fuck it you know <laughs> we yeah. we all got different interests yeah no doubt but yeah it's something i love but i don't really like to be too into it right now like if i paint it's because i'm fucking really drunk and i'm with the homies that be painting you know <laughs> but the last time you did it probably like shit like a month and two weeks ago or a month and a half oh ago. shit so recently like okay. yeah yeah like i'll okay. probably do it like every year like every, like in a two month span probably like two times or something like that what's your crew can i ask that yeah eu on a high note motherfucker mm -hmm. that's what i represent nothing else unless we talking about that tag of shit eu homie i still rep yeah what does it stand for oh it first started with mvs <laughs> okay some arrogant shit but fucking like um that. escaped unseen fucking uh a shitload of me yeah bro. i fucking have eternally underground on my arm right here fucking no shit yeah, a lot, a lot of meanings. But right now, the motherfuckers are putting in mad work. Like, yeah. yeah. So it's pretty cool to see people. <clears throat> I get a lot of pictures. People send me pictures of EU tags or some shit because yeah, they know yeah. I'm affiliated. Or sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's dope. So um, I, I here's a follow up question. Um, so we asked what you'd be doing if you weren't a rapper. Um, and this is a fucked up question. You thought the last question was fucked up this one's fucked up mm -hmm. and i know that because i would hate if someone asked me this because i don't like to think about it right mm -hmm. how long do you see this going what just being self-provoked do you like what's your end game do you have one if you don't think about it that's just, great i have no end game because like it's just a fucking journey i'm gonna be branching off like sure. you know like i i i, I don't want to speak too deeply into my plans but sure. i got i'm trying to create one source of income that's enough to sustain me absolutely and while i once i secure that i'm gonna work more more on the other sources of income because i'm trying mm -hmm. to have multiple and i think uh, it's gonna be either revolved around say my rapping shit this is how i see it if you don't stop rapping if you don't stop supplying to your fan base there's really you can't really fall off because you're gonna be making your money off streaming checks you're gonna be making your money off your youtube checks like mm -hmm. all these and you different get all that yeah i get i get checks from spotify pandora all that shit like monthly i get my checks from youtube monthly i get my uh publishing money i get my fucking merchandise money i get a show money i have like i make that's what i fucking do that's yeah, my job, that's your and job. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah and uh it's working out good, so I don't see me unless I start being really whack. <laughs> sure, yeah. Or I that's usually people's downfall, right? Yeah, yeah, and I don't see that in, in yeah. with me. Mm -hmm. Um, or I just stop caring. 
you know like sure. or, or stop being consistent right now i'm not being consistent at a point releasing mm-hmm. but i'm consistent as in like i'm working behind the scenes so which means i got a shitload of shit stacked and once i start dropping one shit it's going to be continuous yeah so um i like that because you you work you work quietly yeah you know? yeah and yeah. then you just come out of nowhere and yeah and hit, there's a crazy lady looking at us through the window no no don't be sorry don't, don't be too- sorry you don't really give a shit to just admit that you're about this money. Like you're trying to get this money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and but you're an underground artist. So mm-hmm. with that label comes a lot of like fuck that label. Sad, yeah. Precisely, sir. Yeah. Precisely. <laughs> yeah, I fuck with that. Yeah. You know? And that's what like when we had dinner at BJ's, right? That's what uh that's what we noticed that everything we all talk, you know, we're all about uh you know whether it's getting more followers getting uh getting out there more mm. you i think probably because you're already out there everything you everything you strategize and 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 kind of plan it's it all has like a monetary context to it mm-hmm. you know what i mean mm-hmm. and that's how i know like you're kind of on a different level you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying and that's tight that that's it's because again label or no label like you're technically considered an underground artist you know mm-hmm. and underground artists aren't supposed to be about currency right it's about keeping it real yeah and fuck that because <laughs> you know what's real homelessness that shit's yeah. real you know what i mean and if you're not if you're not making money yeah because the sellout shit always bothers me right because i don't know like are, are they really your fans if they expect you like what do people expect you to do like yeah there's people who don't have the best interest for you like a lot of people sure. is like yo eminem was dope i liked him better when he was on drugs though i i, I like i understand because his music may might have been better and sure. shit but that's kind of a fucked up shit to say Absolutely. it's like yo i liked him better when he was in his dark days and lost and just like yeah. he had a crazy mind and blurted out whatever the fuck it was yeah, but yeah it's uh, it, it, i get it because like i i get it but it's just like it's just it's it's fucked up and a lot of times fans are fucking demanding and fucking like they they like they feel like you're there to cater to them instead yeah. of you being there to like develop the way you want to develop and sure. allow them to witness it mm-hmm. um like you owe them something yeah it's like yo like it it's some like it's funny i on snapchat say somebody writes to me or something yeah. and i show love like and i do an emoji i've had people be like that's it an emoji i'm really? like bro like what the fuck like i hope in your snap and i reply to it like i'm not trying to act like i have thousands that i don't read but like i have a lot but you, you know do, so, right like, yeah that's legitimate yeah so I, I have a lot that i have to look at and if i open your shit and reply with a fucking emoji that means like yo i'm showing love to you like thank sure. you you know i'm not fucking gonna write you i'm not gonna write a personal fucking paragraph to every single person that writes to me people you can't know? relate to that though they they yeah. can't relate to yeah every time you open you can't go i'm i'm sure you can't go near social media without seeing a hundred notifications and like just how much of your life would you dedicate to like Fuck, if you that. if you like actively tried to respond or even acknowledge yeah 90 percent of them like that's all the fuck you would do right yeah 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 i'll spend too much time on that shit because shit i feel that way and i get five <laughs> percent you know what i'm saying yeah. but it gets annoying you know mm-hmm. and i know everybody has i i maybe i want to just give them the benefit of the doubt that everyone has their my best interest and you, you know everyone's best, but maybe they're just needy mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. i don't mm-hmm. know no, it's it's fucked up because the sellout thing is always weird because, you know, you have someone that's making something you like, someone that's uh, making art and you like it. So you buy it. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. then if if the person you bought it from, if they end up liking having like, hey, cool, who knew it's nice having money. And you know what I mean? I don't have to go work a shitty job to get money. You know what I mean? I want to do this more. I want to make this more of my life, you know? Yeah. All of a sudden, like to a lot of people, you're considered a sellout. But like, is it not more of, of selling out if you were to go get a job that you don't like? And like, why 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 do you do that for money? Because you yeah. need money. So isn't that like the definition of selling out? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, no, I, I completely agree with you. So and, and I don't know. I think people are just like it's fucked up because it's it's in the whole like it, it could even be viewed as the the gang culture. It could be viewed in the graffiti culture all, all, all that if you start doing something with it you're 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 a culture vulture or you're which i understand that that term because there is many people who like straight like jack some shit that's like popular sure. and you know but but like i'm at a point where i'm kind of like yo if you don't do it somebody else is gonna do it Absolutely. and like are you what are you trying to do are you trying to like that's why when i i i, I say this shit a lot i don't do shit for a culture um i think i think that shit kind of just boxes your mentality and doesn't allow you to kind of like explore other cultures or mix certain 
different things that certain people wouldn't they're just too prideful to do it's just mm-hmm. like yo there's been there was a time when i was like yo i'm not gonna rap on anything but boom bap because i'm boom bap i'm gonna keep it like you keep it real that's like that yeah that mentality to yeah, me yeah. is like it's the mentality that keeps people at a certain level and it doesn't allow them to get a little bit it's bigger slave you know mentality. and it's not like yo you got to do trap or you got to do this sure. type of music like yeah but People are gonna get if you're if you're if all your projects are sounding the same same type of beats same type of concepts and you're only sp- you're speaking the same shit like that's just gonna get old yo like absolutely you know like, I think for everyone involved like you as the artist and them as the consumer right yeah like you I, would assume yeah and and the crazy thing is actually recently I started fucking around with different type of beats and different type of styles and I started having way more fun and I started writing a lot more than I was when I was just getting boom bap beats and yeah. I was like. I wasn't just I, I didn't have that energy t- to do it that no more you know I kind of yeah. got a little bored with it but. it's kind of like fucking a new female after a while I mean yeah it's like right I don't want to talk about you. I mean we, no, <laughs> no, it's, no, I it's not like that at all I'm just playing it's not that's absolutely inaccurate oh no there, there, there's but see that's the thing though like yeah you know, nah, let's get away from the female topic okay. but let's okay. pre- let's pretend like if you are fucking with a fucking f- type of style for a long time <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> for a long time you know like uh-huh. like little breaks here and there might like uh show you like what might lead you to what where you're actually sure what you your real interests are because sometimes sure. you get curious you know like, absolutely you wanna, like, yeah uh, you feel rejuvenated yeah music music yeah, yeah. It's, it's no crazy. music it's, art yeah there's so many things to do with music so like <laughs> you just don't know what to do yeah no absolutely um, music's crazy all right let's a uh, different topic i'm getting the uh, the hint um no no i was talking about music though i really was talking about music nah. a long long time ago i was listening to the crappy awesome podcast right and shout out to them shout out to platform collection they're good people too um so i was listening to well bobby butcher who at severe at the time right and he was talking about how he was like describing the day you guys you and him were driving around and you, you, I think you wanted to start a crew and you were talking about what to call it, you know? Mm-hmm. And, uh, I don't remember if it was him or you or kind of a, a little bit of both or whatever, but you said, we, what about on a high note? You know what I mean? You want to know the story? We were yes. driving, we picked up weed and we were driving and there was a billboard, uh, on our corner where we were smoking and I was talking to him about it, how I wanted to, uh, get everybody who's like kind of, who we seen grow and like we still fuck with type shit yeah and i wanted to make a crew um <clears throat> we were by a billboard and i just remember a quarter i forgot what the billboard was about but it was a white billboard with some text there was a quarter a picture of a quarter and then the text right next door said high note or so, like it just something something yeah. and then and then quotations high note and then severe pointed that out or bobby but bobby yeah. he pointed that out and i he said high note Cause we were talking about our, and he's like, because of our voice or some shit. And I'm like, Anna, and I we just kind of I threw the Anna, Anna, I know. So we kind of like, yeah, that shit was kinda, like we we were smoking, and I was just I told I told him, and I told uh at the time was at last, which was uh Xer, uh, <laughs> yo DJ Khan is crawling on the floor right now. That's DJ why we're looking at yeah, the was floor. Weird. Just get up, dog. It's yeah, cool. I know it's cool. Just walk. it'll add to it'll add to. You're not there that tall. Yeah. <laughs> you could have just walked right by, dog. <laughs> All right, well, Khan wants to hit the blunt before he leaves. Do it. Are you leaving? Oh, you gonna do it? Oh shit! Uh, you don't smoke. Uh, I don't you gonna smoke. Play oh shit! Emotions. Come on, it's for the. No, she's not gonna watch it, bro. I'm I'll not. Smoke if you smoke. Go. Oh, come on, bro. You got a face, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. All right, this is just cool kidding. Enough. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, all right. Cool. So that's that's essentially the origin. Oh yeah, that's that, that yeah, that's how I came came to be uh I had a I had a certain people in mind that I wanted to involve in this. Yeah. Severe was the first uh, Bobby was the first person I approached with it. We came up with the name really fast cuz mm-hmm. I was I thought it was going to take a while, but thanks to him uh, shout out to him for pointing that fucking billboard out or else we probably would have been under a complete different name and shit, yeah, you know, yeah. but um and then I, I remember the funny part. I'm gonna bring this up. I remember nobody knew Wino, the Wino, mm-hmm. during that time. And I remember it was me, Bobby, At Last, and M4. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's about it. Um, 
I was like, yo, there's some dude, the wino. And I showed him their shit, his shit. And they're like, they were kind of like, nah about it. They're like, yo, yeah. like, are we going to be gangster or Chicano oh, rappers say, or something like that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And I'm like, I'm like, you tripping. Like, this was not, this was sick, yeah. you know? Like, and I was like, I was putting it in their heads because at first that's what they told me. I was there. Yeah. And then, uh, but then like we, we got him in and he was, the, I think he was the last, uh, well, we had a, we had thesis also, sure. but I was like a little, a long story. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. um, that's my boy though. Shouts out to thesis. Yeah, no doubt. Hell Shouts yeah. Out to thesis um, but yeah, like I, I just wanted to kind of involve the people that I fucking wanted to fuck with and I knew that they wanted to fuck with too and just kind of bring a fucking circle yeah. or some shit. And we've done it. I've done it before with other names before. I okay. did some shit called Purify. Like I've always wanted to like bring shit together that sure. i knew should be together yeah yeah, yeah. you know even if because yeah. we clash a lot we are a little ego driven motherfuckers sure. you know so we always yeah. have our little ego crashes and we'll come back to that yeah. i want to touch on that too yeah yeah but um yeah but i just wanted that that was the whole concept behind on a high note at first that mm -hmm. that's really all the the only idea i had behind it because mm -hmm. now right now i'm kind of trying to make this something else something bigger yeah that still involves everything that's involved right yeah. now you know so and because w going back to that same night that we we were all at dinner i something you said that uh it it kind of had an impact kind of on everyone i think at the table you said your goal or like your your uh your ultimate goal is to make on a high note you want on a high note to be bigger than self-provoked yeah yeah right yeah, i yeah, remember yeah. you saying that yeah. right and like how how do you see like what's that gonna take uh are we all right let's let's, let's go there yeah okay. um i i want so provoked and every and wino xer and something i i, I want i just want on heino to be something like i don't want to necessarily say like like a brand pretty much a brand that i feel that name has so much potential sure and wherever that the potential of that name could take us mm -hmm. Even if it doesn't involve us at the moment, in the future, like when, because I that term is kind of, I think that term, that wordplay on a high note is yeah. just like, captivating. Like a bunch of people tell me they get complimented off the merch they wear, and they're like, yeah. they don't know who so provoked is, they don't they know none like of that phrase. rapper shit. They're like, yeah. oh, I like your shirt on a high note, probably because they smoke weed, or because sure. maybe like they think deeper and is like some perspective mm -hmm. shit, you know. But <clears throat> so I feel like wherever the pot the potential of that name has. A lot of potential to the point where it could go somewhere mm -hmm. and wherever it goes it could kind of take us with it like say on okay. like, and what i'm saying it's not like it's a relying thing yeah but it's like a imagine a imagine what's a big brand right imagine supreme yeah uh one day all of a sudden uncovers that it has affiliates or 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 musicians under mm -hmm. them those musicians will automatically blow up yeah because like there are supreme was able to like fucking take over the world exactly yeah. you feel me and then like yeah. the now world. it's like whatever supreme fucks with yeah they fuck with and this is the thing now like rappers are using the term like, like i've heard on a high note used before i fucking ever you know like mm -hmm. but now like popular songs are they're using that term like kendrick just it. dropped that song yes. recently he's like yeah so then, uh what do you say fucking um you talking about we humble? like to keep it on a high note. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And That's Drake, Drake's recent album has one yeah, too. Drake, yeah, Drake, yeah. Lil Yachty. So like now it's like I took care of the whole business side of it. Like mm -hmm. so now it's secure. Like I feel like if we could use that shit as reinforcement as a name and to the point where that name becomes like familiar, people see it, people like it, people fuck with it. Say like we on a high note presents and then they throw an event yeah. and it's only these artists. And the brand is so big to the point where, like, yo, we don't care what they fuck with. We're just going because it's that we're brand. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go there, like, say Supreme throws a show and yeah. puts some on, unknown artists on that fucking lineup. Right. Boom. Like, those artists are going to fucking have following and yeah. buzz, like, right away, you know? And I'm not saying that they need on a high note. Mm -hmm. Y-No doesn't need on a high note. Xer doesn't need on a Nobody needs on a high mm -hmm. note. I don't need on a high note. Yeah. I can make self-provoked merch and fucking sell that shit. Yeah. You know, like, so it's not that, like, I'm trying to, because I don't have self-provoked merch right now. If you I, don't. If, no, if yeah. I was focused on just strictly making money and, like, yeah. instead of strategically moving and like climbing whatever i'm trying to climb yeah i wouldn't be so focused on something that doesn't have as much impact as my fucking rapper name because mm -hmm. my rapper name i could make fucking crop tops for girls and then fucking that shit could like girls oh, will buy yeah, it you yeah, know yeah. It's, i've yeah. done it back in the day yeah um so yeah that's that that's my thing i just want to i just want to make 
that name something bigger than me because mm-hmm. like it's something bigger than i just want that shit to be big you want to start mm-hmm. an empire i just i just i have a vision for it i just feel like that that i feel like i got I have a, yeah, I have a big vision for that shit, yeah. you know, and you and and it'll manifest in its own time. Yeah, yeah. and it's it's on its way, you yeah. know. And and I I have this thing right, like I've recently I've been trying to stop being surprised when good shit happens, right? Because I feel like there there's a there's a big difference between being stoked and being surprised, right? And what I mean by that is when when you you can be happy like what's the point if you're not happy like about you know your success your accomplishments right but if you're surprised that's kind of like low-key discrediting yourself like you like you kind of know you don't deserve it like i should probably be in jail or have gone to jail a bunch of times i'm surprised i haven't you know what i mean i'm also happy i haven't yeah. right but when you're stoked to get something it's like you're not surprised like you know like you're you just happy that it. you got it but you know that you put the fucking footwork because especially like in art and just in general right like you it's all just a bunch of planting seeds. You know what I mean? Mm. And nine, everybody gets to see the trees, but they don't see those other nine fucking seeds that just never came out the ground. You know what I mean? And you work just as hard watering them and all that. Um, So when you plant seeds and a fucking tree comes out and you're like, holy shit, a tree came out. You know what I mean? Like you shouldn't be surprised. You can be happy. Like, hell yeah, a tree. Like that's what I'm working for. Right. But like, make no mistake like that tree's only there because you put the work in you dug the fucking hole you covered it you watered it and all that you know what i'm saying so are you surprised by your success uh no nah, fuck no i think i'm I, at a point I where I, I shouldn't even like i'm not i'm not where i'm i'm not you deserve more no no i don't deserve more i don't deserve more okay. because i haven't put a now I'm understanding the work I need to really put in order to get that outcome that I really want. Sure. So right now I'm kind of like, yo, it just sucks that you didn't know that information a little beforehand. Right. Like maybe after you drop Silly Rabbit and could use that momentum to take it a little bit bigger and shit. Sure. But, but I can't be mad at it because at the same time, if I was aware of that, of how consistency worked, I would be yeah. dropping a bunch of songs that I'm not proud of because I don't like Silly Rabbit. So I right. probably would have been dropping a bunch of other songs that people that would have made me get bigger but would have also like increased the catalog that i disapprove of sure and yeah, yeah. yeah right now i, I actually uploaded Sp- uh, on spotify all my old shit yeah and as soon as i uploaded it i think like it was like a week later i went on my spotify and i went on soul provoked and i went on shuffle play and that shit came up first and i was like yo fuck the money take that shit down yeah i told the the person that put it up i'm like take that shit down because the money's not worth the perception like at the moment you know yeah, i feel yeah. i don't want somebody to go on spotify and click so provoked and be like boom this is the first shit they hear and it's me when i was 16 17 years old and they're like oh that's fair yeah. you know? that's fair that's no i funny. totally get it i totally get it oh, um yeah. yeah yeah um we you you spoke about ego a little bit earlier like uh when you're talking about the ego crew. clashing yeah, yeah 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 right and so um we you and i we were on a podcast like a few weeks ago right and you were kind of talking about your battle with anxiety and all that and it was suggested i don't remember if you suggested it or or chris from crappy awesome but he said you know a, maybe a moderate amount of anxiety is actually healthy because it's like your body's way of kind of uh keep keeping you out of danger essentially right yeah, and letting you know something's a little off keeping you sharp right yeah. and so in that sense like being ego driven is uh it's often frowned upon but like um i kind of think just like a little bit of anxiety is good for you maybe a little bit of ego is good for you because right because that's like what keeps you moving forward right that's what allows you to identify yourself as something because or else if you were like if you had no ego you're just a fucking being you're just a consciousness floating around shit you know like yeah no like fuck that you're you yeah you have to have a certain perception of yourself it's, it's better to be i feel like it's yeah. better to be ego driven than to not be driving at all you yeah. know and just existing yeah it's like i, I believe there's extremists and everything like sure. uh spirituality and giving mm-hmm. and fucking being this shit like a good person is like motherfuckers give up everything and live a fucked up life and yeah. like just like give everything they get like just to fucking fulfill a fucking vision that some dude two thousand years ago fucking had or some shit you yeah. know and yeah yeah but at the same time i could be saying bullshit because maybe that shit did bring happiness to him you know so like i I don't know but it i think you need as far as like this society Mm -hmm. 
this culture you need some type of ego to progress like or else you're gonna get stepped on or else you're gonna get yeah or else you're just gonna lose yourself and yeah and some other shit or yeah, whatever yeah. type of shit but no absolutely i fuck with ego but yeah good and bad like Cause you say you rap with your ego i remember yeah you yeah said my that. rap is all ego driven yeah for sure for sure and right. that's like look where your rap's at you know what i'm saying yeah, so like that's yeah. again you kind of have to have a lot of that or at least some of that yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah 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 it's, yeah if you're trying to make if you're trying to make a living off it like right. unless you're trying to fucking like sit crisscross on a corner with a guitar asking for change which yeah. is cool too if that's what makes if the person happy do, there's sure. no right or wrong sure but that's not what i'm trying to do yeah you know? yeah, yeah 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 um and you know i've said this kind of ties into what we're talking about like i've said this before and it's like a concept that i'm i'm trying to like embed in my head and a lot of it probably has to do with ego but uh it's like is the theory that uh you know there's one planet right like we all share a planet but within this planet like there's there's an infinite amount of worlds because a world is whatever your world is right so like again we're all we share a planet but like my world and your world they differ pretty yeah. greatly you know what yeah. i mean and that's not even to mention like our worlds versus the kid in somalia or or you know the, like there's so many different worlds right and some of us we have to some of us were kind of obligated to play in both worlds or, or several different worlds, right? Mm -hmm. Like I have a full time, I got to go to work tomorrow. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like that's my world during the day. And then like, this is a whole nother world. Then I go home and I'm dad, I'm, I'm husband. Like that's another world. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like my concept these days is just like, if you have to, if you have to play in two different worlds, pick the world that you prefer, pick the world that you love and that you can't do without and do everything you can to be a fucking god in that world. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And again, that sounds like a lot of ego, but I mean, you gotta be great. You gotta be great. You gotta be great. Yeah, you man. gotta be great. A lot of people are, be humble. It's like be humble means, hey man, stop act, stop acting like you're the shit. Yeah. And it's like, bro, if that's how you, is that if that's how you perceive yourself and you feel like you're the shit and you're you're doing things to make your self-esteem be high like fuck another person that tells you to be humble suck a dick you know yeah. like like if you just don't if you can't fuck with my energy stay away from me people who want to fuck with my energy they'll come you know like yeah. like you know or they'll stick around so yeah yeah like yeah fuck all that shit fuck that be humble shit at the same yeah. time it's not like yo like look at me like flossing on your homies that you feel like you like it's not about wrongdoing but it's about like if you walk in a place with a certain energy, don't fucking dim your energy to fucking like be able to associate with people. You feel yeah. like you need to associate. I think that's when it's there's signs that like, yo, like you got to start. You need to make new friends. You also keep your friends, uh, you know, sure. but you also need friends to push you. You need friends that you go around and their energy like Definitely. brightens your shit up. Definitely. Like you could show somebody some dope ass work and it'll be like, yeah, go. Cool. Cool. Right. Dope. And then like they'll go back to what they're doing. And. It's not that your shit sucks or they didn't feel it. It's just like that's the energy they're carrying because they're probably going through shit too, you know? It's sure. not their fault. Like, yeah, yeah. It is their fault the way they're managing their fucking problems. But, right. um, you, or you could go to another room though and show them some shit. And even if they don't like everything about it, you'll be like, hey, this shit's dog, this fucking beat's sick. I like your delivery. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just feel like the last part, even if they tell you the little switch, but their energy is just kind of like, right. it's, it keeps their you motivated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You leave the yeah. room and you're kind of like, yo, I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. You go with another person, like, with a fucked up energy, you leave that room, like, like fuck, like, what the yeah. fuck? You know, like, you just, you're just off. Like, and it takes an evolved person to not only acknowledge that and, like, see that, but it takes an even more evolved person to be like, okay. In a nice, in the nicest way possible, I'm no longer fucking with that yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because me, I'm 31 years old. You know what I'm saying? Like I got zero time to be held back by people yeah. anymore. You know what I mean? And like that's why. I, do you have like regular friends? You know, and people who aren't artists, who aren't making videos, who rapping. You know, do you have regular friends who who actually don't know about your life? That don't know about my life, or didn't yeah. know when they met me, and I made a made a friendship, and then later later yeah, found yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I have mostly homegirls that like okay. that are that. Sure. But as far as homies, I think everybody knows. Everybody's yeah. okay. And out of those people, like, what what do you think the ratio, or like, what's the percentage of your homies that are actually doing things like rapping, writing? graph you know girls I mean? and guys yeah yeah just people uh, you associate with on the daily or monthly or i think probably like 15 15 percent of them probably aren't doing something in See? that world yeah okay yeah yeah, yeah. And, and and like i said it's, it's probably just like 
like homegirls that I know from like back in the day and mm-hmm. like we've like maintained a friendship. But as far as like dudes, like all my all my homies either didn't rap when I met them, mm-hmm. but they they started picking up rap probably recently. Yeah. Which is you know, they picked it up a little later. Yeah. Um <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, you good. Hey, what's up? Nah, we good. Nah, we, we good. good. We good with the yeah. I like that it's the small one though. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's a crazy number. Like only twenty percent of the people you hang, because you know maybe a lot even of people. less. Yeah, <laughs> and I know you know a lot of people. Yeah. So to to even the notion that like twenty percent or less. Oh, but I'm bringing up people I, I regularly kick it with. I kick it with a very low amount of people. Okay. So it's out of that. Like, and out is of that, that by choice? Yeah, or, yeah, 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 yeah. That is right. I just yeah, yeah. I, it's I, like nothing personal, but nothing personal at all. It's just like I can't. I, yeah, I yeah. just can't sit down and do things do i nothing. used to do like before back in the day i used to kick it sit yeah. down smoke weed for five hours Same. talk with people and be completely fine if i do yeah. that now i'll be depressed <laughs> fuck me too man yeah me too that's the worst part about being hung over for me is that yeah the next day you not only feel like shit but i get yeah. zero done yeah. you know what i mean even that if it's just like small things you know yeah. I'm, I'm big i'm a big productivity guy and i drive most of my friends crazy yeah. you know what i'm saying because i don't want to really kick it it's not that i don't want to i actually wish i had the brain that was completely content just kicking it you know what i'm saying yeah are we passing blunts over here <laughs> <laughs> It's the owner. Oh, of the is shop. that what you were telling me the whole time? I, I didn't know if you're talking to me. Or Just walk in. Me you own shit. this motherfucker. This is my friend Drew. He's the uh, he's the head barbarian. Where are the cameras at? This one. There's one here. There? There's one there. I like how your belts like not even buckled. Shout out to my friends, man. Jesus Christ. His his, his belts undone. <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh, it really does say. Oh, barbarian. that was premeditated. These are the people <laughs> I hang out with. It's awesome to actively you know, kind of more or less in a nice way possible, like cut people out your life to go hang out with people who energize you and motivate, you know, and that's one thing, but it's, it's even better. It's the best when people you grew up with from nothing before you were doing Mm -hmm. anything, like, Mm -hmm. like you were saying, all of a sudden, like a lot of people start rapping, you know what I'm saying? Like, like my, my, some of my best friends, like owns a barbershop. Like my friends are filming right now, you know what I mean? Like, but they're really about this shit. Like they go to film school. They like, I don't even know how to turn most of this shit on. You know what I mean? Because (laughs) they, they found something they're good at. They found something they're passionate about and they dove into the shit head first. Mm-hmm. And I fuck with that. Maybe they fall on their face and nothing ever comes out of it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. they probably had some fun. They learned some cool shit. They met some cool people. And like, if you want more for like, if you want more from that, if you want more than that from life, like you're probably asking too much. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes trees grow. Sometimes seeds just die. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I don't know. Um, did I go dark? I do that, man. Yeah, and I feel depressed. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a good. Th- that's no, a good kidding. topic. That's I'm actually kidding. a good topic. Depression. Um, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> do we do? Is that, what's a what percentage of your life are you depressed? <sighs> uh, I've been able to s- kind of. I don't mean like sad, like depressed, like. Yeah, no, I feel. I don't you, feel you know like, what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. Um. Fuck, you know what? Thank God recently I'm not. I haven't. That's but uh amazing. I don't know, it's weird, bro. I, I think it starts with like I either have in, like some type of anxiety, I'm anxious or some type of stupid thoughts are yeah. keep circling in my fucking head. Or have this little like weird feeling of like and I hate talking about this topic because I don't want nobody to ever think I'm trying to seek pity because I don't fuck sure. with that shit. You know, like, yeah, I, I like I, I'm glad I have this shit to be honest because I probably wouldn't think the way I think if I didn't. Yeah. Um. I don't know, fucking shit, bro. I don't know. It's weird. You know, it, it's probably through like two hours. Maybe I wake up and I feel off a little bit. Oh, we're talking about daily. Yeah, I'm talking oh, about daily. Okay. I, I, but not right now, thank God. But sure. I'm saying like when I do, like it'll probably like fucking when i wake up to two hours first three hours i'll feel a little off or something yeah and then uh i'll start motivating myself with certain like uh because i like to hear audiobooks or i like to fucking sure. f- hear shit like that so th- those things kind of like take me off that shit mm-hmm. and i'll probably start feeling it, feeling it again when i like need to go to sleep and i get a little tired and i might not even perceive my tiredness i'll just feel kind of like my mind's off you know so yeah. I, I feel that before I actually physically feel tired. But when that starts happening, that means like usually like I'm about to be really tired. I need to like take it. That means I need to go to sleep already, you know? Right. Like, so I noticed my anxiety, my anxiety, cause I really, I didn't have depression until I fucked with got anxiety and shit, you know? Right. But I feel my anxiety, uh, 
it's like a fucking it's just a big psych on my brain like if i'm mm. uncomfortable if i'm too hot i won't feel hot i'll just get and i anxious. feel anxious i'll be yeah. like yo why am i why do i feel weird why, why do i feel hmm. lightheaded real quick you know and i don't perceive that i'm hot until i really like take a step back take a step back yeah and i'm like yo wait a minute like i'm hot i'm sweating yeah. and then like you feel the sun burning on your right it's like i might feel like a sensation on the left side of my body mm. but i'll be like yo why is my fucking left face feel weird and shit and i'll be like oh shit the sun's fucking shining on it so like i'll feel my anxiety will come first before my fucking brain like yo like yo like you're you're some you're you're hot yeah. or you're cold or you're hungry or something like that and i'll, I'll feel anxious before i feel hungry i'll be anxious okay. before i feel hot. No i'll shit. be anxious before okay. i feel cold like daily that's just how you are most of the time yeah but it's yeah. something i live with it's it's sure. not something like yo like i can't take it you know mm -hmm. i'll just be like yo like i feel weird i'll be like oh and i'll snap out of it i'll be like oh that's the, that that's why I'll be like, oh, like I'll take care of the problem, and then it'll go away, and I'll just be like, it's yeah. not, it's not like back in the day when I had anxiety, it was like, like on the edge of a panic attack. Yeah. Now when I feel anxiety, it's like way far away from a panic. It takes a lot for me to have a panic attack, and when I do have a panic attack, I just sit through it and I just let that shit hit me. You and learn I, to manage it. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, let that shit come, like fuck it, yeah. let that shit hit me. I, I feel like my mind might think I'm having a heart attack or some yeah. shit like that, but I know deep in my mind, I'm like, yo, just let that shit hit you, bro, like. It's cool. Have you had a panic attack on stage? Yeah, I've had a panic attack before performing. Okay. But yeah, never like on stage. Like my like heart was beating verse, super. You're like, oh, shit. oh no, no, I have actually when I was yeah. sick. Yeah, I was oh, sick okay. and I was flu and I and I was having fevers. Yeah. And I was like paranoid that I'm gonna overheat on stage and die because I'm yeah. a mad hypochondriac. Yeah, yeah. Fucking um so like while I was rapping, like I just felt like lightheaded because I started thinking about it while I was rapping. Like I'm rapping, yeah. everything's coming out cool, but in my mind I'm like, yo, like you're fucking hot right now. You're sweating, like you're fucking, you know. You. So while in the midst of my of my rapping, I might stumble a couple times because I'm in my head thinking about that shit. So, right. Um. Yeah, it's happened to me at the last low end theory performance I had. No shit. Yeah, I still killed it, but <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> but I, I had that happen. Yeah, that's that's crazy that you've you know. You, you've managed to just figure that shit out. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah Cause a yeah. lot of people don't man. And I didn't even, I wasn't even hip to like, it's like a whole different world, like the anxiety world. Right. Yeah, and yeah. it's way bigger than people realize. Yeah, and yeah. I didn't, I, I wasn't even hip to it until like my wife started really suffering from it. Right. And you know, I would, I would always just hear like, Oh, it's my anxiety. I'm just fucking worried about something. You know what I mean? But I never really thought of it as like a, a physical yeah uh, something's happening physically yeah, you know what i'm saying yeah for yeah sure. and uh yeah. I, it's it's weird because uh you know she she's very proactive with her life where it, if i ever die it's gonna be because I, something bad happened i'm fucking ignoring it i'm the opposite of you like i don't i'm not a hypochondriac i'm like shit my something's probably fucked up but let's <laughs> keep it pushing you know what yeah. i'm saying and that's not a healthy way to be at all but like when she she started feeling it she immediately like all right what can we do yoga therapy this that you know i'm gonna get up at this time i'm gonna eat this not eat this drink this not drink yeah, that you know what i mean yeah, and that's like so foreign to my brain you yeah. know but in uh as she uh started learning more you know she naturally comes and like talks to me and i'm like wait most of what you're describing kind of describes me too i've just never really thought of it you know what i mean mm -hmm. so in a way i blame her for my anxiousness now because <laughs> in in like acknowledging it now i'm more aware of it and like i don't know i'm not to a point now where i can manage it as well as you do but I also haven't lived with it as long. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah that's Thanks crazy. Time. So, okay, so you had a panic attack at low end theory. How do you do? How do you do with flying? Because you you travel a bit. Like, <laughs> how many you how many countries have you been to? Like for performing? Uh, you done Europe, right? Yeah, I did Europe a few countries. I think like probably five countries in Europe. Okay, six countries or something like that. I know I did Sweden, Germany, France. Uh, fucking barcelona yeah uh and probably a couple other more et cetera, et cetera. And then yeah. i did sao paulo brazil recently yeah and then uh what's your favorite place barcelona paris and sao paulo no shit yeah sao pa you know sao paulo takes the fucking cake i had so much fun in brazil i was only there three days and those three each each one of those days are fuck, was fucking amazing. I saw that video clip of you. It was like, it was this like a festival or something? Or like, yeah, I was headlining. It was a fucking yeah. show, bro. Yeah, that shit was tight too. It was yeah. like packed. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that great. was the most, uh, that, I was my fucking, my biggest show was in Brazil. Like, yeah. Ever. And it's weird because all the, your videos, 
like obviously you know like, Portuguese and shit. Yeah, like the one I'm in, I'm like I'm snooping. I got time shit. I'm a snooping on on the comments, you know what I mean? And like I can't read 90% of that shit. Like what's it like having such a following like so far away? Like do, okay, that's a better question. Does it does it kind of shrink the world a little bit? Like does it make it seem like a smaller world knowing that people know who you are? They don't not, they not only know you but like they fuck with you a lot. You know what I mean? Like yeah. way over there. Uh, not just cause I don't know. I haven't like really thought of really, really, really thought about how big this shit is. Like yeah. sometimes I kind of, I, I don't know. Nah, not, 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 not a, I don't trip out on that. Yeah. Like what you just asked yeah. me. But I just trip out that why the, why the fuck over there, you know? But, right. But. So how do you do with flying? Do you, uh. I'm on, I'll for sure have like a little on the verge, almost having a little panic attack in the middle of it. Yeah. You know, I hate I hate turbulence. Yeah, I hate uh, fucking like say I eat some fucked up food because it's airport food and my stomach right. starts hurting and then <laughs> like I look and there's like fucking five people in the door. So I'm like, yo, imagine like I have like a sudden rush and I need to fucking use the bathroom and I have to fucking wait through this shit and I'm yeah. on a fucking plane. You know, so I always have like the worst of the worst thoughts. Mm-hmm. I had I've had crazy ass intrusive thoughts on planes before. It's fucking those are weird. How so? What do you what do you, like? Imagine like that. you go crazy on a plane and you like open the fucking emergency oh, door. Oh my! God, I'm yeah. well aware of yeah. those thoughts. Yeah, I have yeah. I have yeah. Th- those those are those intrusive those thoughts, thoughts drove me crazy. Yeah, they're intrusive. intrusive thoughts and they're obsessive intrusive thoughts. And a lot of people perceive those thoughts as suicidal thoughts, mm-hmm. but they're really not because suicidal people are like depressed to the point they like don't want to live. They find no meaning. Yeah. And obsessive intrusive thoughts are just like thoughts running through your brain and like they just trip you out and you overthink, you ruminate on those thoughts and you keep circulating around them. Yeah. And you feel just a powerful urge, but you know that's something you don't want to do and your anxiety and OCD is kind of like fucking with your brain. But those are just intrusive, obsessive intrusive thoughts. Being suicidal is completely different, you know, like, whoa. When I used to get those thoughts, I was like, am I suicidal? Like, yeah. why am I thinking these thoughts? You know, like, right. period. Um, but I didn't want to do it. You know, I was scared that I was going to do it. You know, yeah, so yeah. it wasn't something that I was like, yo, like, I think this is like what I want to do. You know, it was yeah. something like that. So I know it kind of. And honestly, like, that's a big reason I don't smoke a lot of weed is because like, how do you. It blows my mind that you, you know, anxiety is such a big part of your life, but also like you're just killing that blunt. Like I would be, I'd be fucking panicked. When I don't smoke weed, I don't have anxiety. When I smoke weed is the only time I have anxiety. When I took a two month weed break, I didn't have anxiety for shit. No shit. Yeah. I only have anxiety and like weird thoughts or like, or thoughts that I trip out on. Mm -hmm. I got have these thoughts sober and they'll just run my head and it's like. "Mm." Right. But when I smoke weed, those thoughts are more powerful, you know? But yeah. I'm at a point where I could smoke a blunt to the face. And I know once I start thinking those thoughts, I'll be like, yo, those thoughts ain't that powerful to me no more. And I yeah. now understand them. Like, it ain't nothing. It's like if you're walking down the street and you see, like, somebody with a fucked up, say, like, a really fat lady or some shit like that. Yeah. You're, you look at her, the first thing you could fucking say in your head is, like, fucking, you might be in a bad mood that day. But like, fucking fat bitch, get out of my way, you know? <laughs> yeah. But that's, the, that's your first thought. <laughs> but your secondary thought is like, yo, I wouldn't say that. That's fucked yeah. up. You know? So like, that's a good, it, that's it, a good Yeah. Point. So it's like understanding your thoughts is like, okay, if you're having like negative thoughts, like whatever, like it's your first thoughts, but your secondary thoughts are like, yo, you're fucking tripping. Like, you know, you don't want to do that. So it's like, it's just certain thoughts we, we choose to trip out on more due to OCD type mm-hmm. of behaviors through because of anxiety or certain yeah. things like that. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just trying to like, like I, I spend a lot of time trying to figure out my thought patterns and like why people think certain ways and shit, you know? And mm-hmm. that's why like I don't, uh like a topic I would talk about or I would like to bring up is people victimizing themselves for like it's in many situations, you Speak know, either it. if it yeah. goes on racism, even if it goes on like um just things like that. I feel like, I think the bigger threat is psychologically telling people there's racism and that you're oppressed. Like I think that's worse than actually experiencing it in the real world. Mm-hmm. Because if you grow up thinking like that, you're going to walk into a certain place victimizing yourself or looking at certain people, mm-hmm. assuming that they don't fuck with you because supposedly you're oppressed and shit. Yeah. Not knowing that maybe all these people that are a different color or a different fucking class than you actually appreciate you and appreciate your culture and welcome it. You know, yeah. so like I think that type of mentality kind of just brings victimization just victimizes people and just makes them grow up defensive to the point they get pulled over by a cop and they're like yo why are you pulling me over instead of being like 
like yo i used to get pulled over i used to get handcuffed all the fucking time i used to yeah. run from cops i used to do that all right let me tell you one thing like yeah when the cops would come up to me i'd be a fucking like and i'm not saying all cops are good like yo like sure. you know i'm free to say like cops are fucked up you know they've right they don't fucked up shit to me but i also kind of was a fucking douchebag too you know yo, yeah like dude, now I now yeah. i have shit in my car like weed in my car it shit smells like herb and i'm like hello officer and he's like oh what your tattoos say like are you in a gang and i'll be like yo i'm like <laughs> i laugh like officer just like it's it's fucking lion king, lion and, king. And, and then you know like I'm, yeah. it's, it's cartoons you know right and they'll just laugh because i'm pl- i'm being playful with them yeah. instead of be like be like yo why because i'm hispanic because yeah. I'm brown, you're telling me I'm a gangbang? Like, what are you? And he'd be like, they're gonna, they're humans, yo. Like, I get it, they're officers, but they have emotions. If you treat sure. them like that, they're gonna be like, this motherfucker, you know, like, and he might not be mature enough to be like, you know what, this fool's a fucking dumbass, just giving me shit. Yeah. He might be a dumbass too and be like, oh, you're a dumbass, I'm gonna act like a dumbass now too. And then dumbasses yeah. clash, and then this dumbass has more authority than you, and you're fucked, and you know? So, you, yeah. yeah. So you're yeah. putting yourself in a fucked up situation, period. Yeah. Like, I'd rather swallow my pride and fucking like, you know, I'd be like, you know what? Like, I know this motherfucker do my shit dirty. Like, I'm going to pretend to like his ass right now. Yeah. So I'd rather, I'd rather just evaluate a situation, maneuver accordingly within it instead of evaluating a situation and complaining about the situation. And that is not... Oh, that's so fucked up. No shade to your protesters, but I just... Because I know a lot of people are like, oh... I was uh, just going to say, yeah. like, that is not a popular opinion, it's especially not. in... As in hip hop, in hip hop, because motherfuckers are trying to profit off this shit. Motherfuckers want to throw a Donald Trump name and say fuck it in front of it and then fucking make money off that shit. These motherfuckers might even be laughing at. These motherfuckers might even be shaking his motherfuckers' hand behind scenes and getting a percentage of that shit. You never even yeah. fucking know. Yeah. But there's fucking artists straight making profit off that shit, yo. Like, I don't know. I think I, I, I it's, it's sucker shit and it's shit that's unpopular because people, they don't even want to think about it. They hear some shit like that, mm-hmm. fool, like. Everybody knew the news was on some bullshit for years. You know, the media, right. you can't trust it. I'm not like Donald Trump comes out and starts exposing fake news. Now, everybody that was like Mr. Protester, Mr. Revolutionary is on the news side. Like, oh, how like you're saying the news is fake. You're a fascist. You just don't want to. It's like, it's like, bro, like, this, like literally he brought up some shit that you don't like Trump, but you don't have to hate everything he says. Like, fuck Trump, you know, fuck him, whatever. But, like, does not mean, like, yo, whatever he says, like, it's wrong? You know, because you're just, people are so manipulated by propaganda that it's fucking, it's laughable. And I, I'm I, I'm at a point where I, I'm done with the frustration, done with trying to change yeah. the world, done with all that bullshit. Mm-hmm. I'm just laughing at the situation. I'm cynical about it, but at the same point, enjoying it at the same time. Because sure. I believe in Darwinism, and I believe people succeed. It, 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 that's the way it is. Shit got conquered. Wars got, wars happened. Shit happened. This is the way it is unless you choose to over you choose to overthrow that shit through the way the shit works. Yeah. I'm not saying it's the right way or the best way, yeah, but yeah. that's the way it is. Yeah. Like like I don't see complaining or telling people to like you because they're stupid and they don't like your skin color. Like yeah. you're trying to convince stupid people to like educate themselves over a 24 hour period and like you and everything's going to be OK. Like, you're trying to reason with unreasonable people. Yeah. It's like they're retarded. Like let them be retarded. You know, it's yeah. like we don't need approval of any type of people. And it's like the whole racial shit's retarded and the media plays off of it. Like it's just clickbait. It's like white person did this to brown person black so person blatant. did this like shut the fuck up it's so blatant and I I feel like nobody sees yeah. it or they're afraid to acknowledge it but it's very very blatantly yeah. uh, just there's a bunch of puppet strings right there yeah. and like some people see it and some people don't yeah if you people want I'll drop I'll, I'll drop some weirdo shit like that for George Soros that drops money on the campaigns of Hillary Clinton and Obama and shit he was an economic hitman of Rothschild. And people talk yeah. about Rothschild and Rockefellers, like, yo, the two bloodlines that run, like, the whole banking system right. and the fucking world or whatever. Yet, like, they don't want to see who these motherfuckers are funding. Like, these little revolutionaries ain't revolutionaries. Like, that's why I shit on revolutionary, rapper, revolutionary rappers that are, like, the... T- that's why I even mentioned the names. And I'll say that shit freely. I don't fuck with Immortal Technique no more. I, knew, I, I don't I knew fuck that was with Kali no more. You know, like, I knew that was to coming. me, that... Yeah. The, they, they, I think they're making money off struggling people and angered people, and, hmm. the, and, and you, it's like, I don't know, bro. Like, I just don't fuck with that mentality no more. I was so deep in it. I made songs, Lost and Blind. A lot of my big songs were like, cause I, I was thinking that way and people yeah. loved it or whatever. But now I'll tell you one thing: when I made those songs, I didn't know what the fuck I was talking about. I didn't know shit. Lost and Blind. A lot of people like it, but I didn't know shit. I didn't know what the fuck. I watched a few documentaries. Sure. I, I, I went into some like straight some sh- some bullshit and i made that song out of emotion 
Yeah. Thinking I knew what the fuck I was talking about, not knowing the whole fucking what goes on behind the scenes and how certain things have to be managed in order for certain outcomes to occur. So I was just saying some dumb, stupid shit, and a lot of people view me as that person, and they yeah. want they want to hold that idea of me, but that's not me. And when I was speaking those shit, I was fully, I was super, super more un- uneducated than I am right now. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying I'm educated or anything, but I, I feel you though. I understand. I just learn more, and it's sure. And I, I, it just sucks that everyone's getting like kind of feeding into that shit. I think that's the the elite. I think that's what they want. That they. They're trying to open borders, create that whole new world order shit. Yeah. From this is theory. It's right. not real sure, shit. Sure. But um they're talk everybody's been talking about new world order for such a long time. Right. George Soros, which is that guy that came up under Rothschild as an mm-hmm. economic hitman. They're trying to promote open borders, mm-hmm. clash borders, different cultures clash. They don't agree. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of chaos. Yeah. Somebody has to save us. We have to look. Obviously, it's not gonna be our police department because it's a bigger issue. Sure. So we're gonna look like government but what's government if all these things are clashing which leads to a world war government where it's a one elite society from, yeah. you know the, yeah and yeah. that's where they talk about david rockefeller mm-hmm. you know being in charge of this shit you know so and and at the same time it's like we could say david rockefeller but it could be a way bigger name that we just don't sure. know which is does which way deep. is essentially the illuminati right like that's yeah. what people they whether even whether or not they even know what they're talking about or who they're referring to that's what people are referring to when they're talking about the, yeah. the illuminati right like yeah. the the puppet masters whether that's yeah. one guy or a hundred guys or there's always gonna have to be one there's always gonna have to be one yeah. and they're not gonna always gonna be fair there's always yeah. gonna be bias like so people are gonna like revolution revolution it's like okay you're gonna revolt but what the fuck are you gonna replace this shit with like what do you want to put some uh you know much effort it's like you're gonna put a gang banger rapping a gang banger rapper trying to promote unity through a song because of a fucking situation that's yeah. occurring right now you would yeah. are you want to put this uh gang banger rapper and like these people that say f- like fuck things and all of a sudden they're profits and shit like yeah it's just stupid it's retarded it and it's stupid. fucked up and i will never play to it and i and on my twitter i talk so much shit about yeah, it you do yeah, yeah. I, I just laugh at that shit yo it's like you want to suffocate yourself about being oppressed and fucked up and the world's fucked up and you don't think you have what it had what it what what you need to succeed in the world where shit's ran the way it is fuck that you could do whatever if certain people don't like it, you could do whatever the fuck you want still yeah if fucking yeah, bro, I sound like a preacher ass motherfucker. No, you're that's dropping. That's the last thing I'm trying to fucking, sound like. You're killing right now. But, bro, I'm just like, I'm, I'm just tired of it, and it's fucked yeah. up, and it's sad. It's yeah. It's sad, bro. It's yeah. Sad. <laughs> and that's... Spark my roach to this. Do that. <laughs> what I'm hearing is you've changed, you know? And that's that's kind of the goal, is it not? Like, as long as uh, progress, change, you're supposed to evolve as a person, right? You're not yeah. just supposed to get older. Like, you're supposed to, yeah. like, grow the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like it's it's terrible when people, whether they're your friends, you know, just on some friend shit or some like artist shit, you know, they they fault you for like, oh, that motherfucker changed or whatever. And it's like, dog, if like I have friends from a long time ago that they don't fuck with me anymore because, oh, he's changed. Oh, that ain't really him. You you, you know, I knew him back. To, like, dog, if, if I was the same person that you knew 20 years ago, fucking punch me in the face. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because what are you doing? You know, like, is that not the goal? You know what I mean? So I don't know, man. I fuck with where your head's at and I fuck with that. You don't care. (laughs) I I really fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? Because you're at a point now you you can stand to lose some fans, right? Some shitty fans. Yeah, fuck (laughs) them. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) No, not not my fans. Not my fans. Not the good ones. Yeah, Yeah, yeah. but the stupid ones, I want to judge me for like my growth. Yeah. And they're not at that point yet or maybe they might not ever be or disagree you know yeah but um just it's all good like i, I still fuck with like the last song joey badass drop with a schoolboy q mm. that's just hard i don't agree <laughs> you know like sure i'm not not like fully agree with everything that's being said or whatever but but um, shit bangs yeah and yeah. I, and people are gonna be like oh wait is he talking about the fuck donald trump statement that's not it yeah it's I'm just the sure. uh, you know the yeah yeah mental the psychology side to it but um sure the fuck was I talking about? <laughs> do you ever freak out about tattoos? Because I do. What do you mean? Like, do you ever regret them? Like, to the point where, like, when it I was makes on you shrooms anxious? once and yeah. I looked in the mirror, yeah. I looked at all my tattoos and I'm like, why do I have what those tattoos? What the fuck tattoos? did I do to myself? Yeah. yeah no, like, I yeah. started thinking, I started like, I'm like, 
what am I doing? <laughs> like I yeah. started, yeah, yeah, that shit was crazy. But uh, besides that, no, nah, not really, man. I like them. Uh, Walk me through them briefly. I, I, I need to. This one says "Gracias a la vida," and uh, it's a, it says uh, "Thanks to life." Sure. And it's a song by Mercedes uh, Mercedes Sosa. She's from Argentina. I said okay. it all fucking <laughs> <laughs> uncultural. <laughs> Where it's from, but uh, um, sounded good to me. Yeah, and then the other side is a fucking uh, little alien. Uh, yeah you know and that's just my belief in like a higher either collective conscious or like universal laws or sh- things right. work a certain order mm-hmm. um so i believe that and then everybody like all the silhouettes have like different reactions to it some people no might shit. be in disbelief some people might be excited some people you know so every silhouette has a different reaction to it um right here there's an eye right above the gracias a la vida which is uh, my mom's eye it's right below a little angle which mm-hmm. kind of makes it look like a triangle yeah um you know the triangle with the eye doesn't belong to illuminati so don't be all scared and shit <laughs> right um and then right above that i have a ohn which is on a high note yeah it's like a design which it was gonna be a logo but i ended up changing the logo but i got it tatted already yeah and my did tattoo artist that? that did it actually got it got it got it too oh no shit um no nah, my, draw that? my boy design? gober did okay yeah my boy gober did yeah and then right above it i have a two dragon balls okay yeah and uh the numbers represent my name the stars okay each stars and then i got on the other side i got a peruvian flag and an argentinian flag peruvian for my mom's argentinian for my pops and then fucking above that i got fucking my church music cover yeah there's a lot of talking yeah no nah, <laughs> breath and shit but uh yeah i got my church music cover yeah and then i got pinky in the brain <laughs> fuck with that i won this one at a rap battle and you then, wait what you what now you I won it at a rap battle yeah you won a free tattoo yeah, in other words yeah. and you it chose was a rap battle in somewhere and, and then you I chose, chose pinky in the brain oh, yeah. that's fucking tight above that is like my first rap group lost angels okay and then 818 by fufora <laughs> fufora yeah. did it a long ass time ago oh, okay and then i got a fucking whack ass hip hop on my chest that i want to cover we all have whack tattoos yeah. <laughs> i got a few i like everything above here i want to cover yeah, yeah yeah we all have whack tattoos yeah. don't even worry about it I like how you just skipped over uh, Simba. Though. Oh, shit, nah, Simba, that's the most imp- Damn, I'm stupid. Yeah, Simba. Nah, you're saving it for last. I Simba's my shit. Like, Simba, like, his whole storyline, like, this food, like, he was at a spot, watched some fuck shit, fucked up shit happen, dipped from it, avoided it, found this mentality where everything's okay and, like, everything's fine and Hakuna Matata. Yeah. And, um eventually ran into something that was from the old past of his that he was trying to avoid yeah and it brought him back to the place where he was supposed to be at and he ended up conquering that place and allowing himself to do what he was avoiding for so long and it tells you don't trust family because sometimes your uncles, <laughs> your uncles will fuck you up yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. god damn it that was tight yeah, yeah. I, I fuck with that a lot disney right. kills it man disney's for, a fucking shit all bullshit dude. aside man some of the, some of those old disney movies they be teaching you shit. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. That and Fresh Prince. If not <laughs> if if not for Disney and Fresh Prince, I don't know where the fuck I'd be. Thank you. Thanks everyone for listening to this, for watching it. Uh, you know, fucking subscribe, share, all that. You know how the internet works. Uh, do that for us. We'd very much appreciate it. Thank you to Space Ape. Um, they got stickers. They got they got all kind of shit. They got fucking hats and shirts and all kind of stuff they got uh vapes right here check them out spaceapeuniverse.com uh or on instagram at spaceapeuniverse thank you uh to stay illuminated uh Ethel takes us on the road he gives us free shirts and all kind of shit he cooks for us too. he does cook for us he barbecues for us uh he lets yeah he lets us jump off his roof into his pool but he won't let his son do it um stayilluminated.com go get yourself something dope to wear um finally thank you to my friend drew as much as we hate each other most of the time i appreciate him letting me do this here at uh, his barber shop i'm really i really fuck with uh everything he has going on in life um i don't think he has a website though so that part i don't fuck with because it's 2017 <laughs> you should probably figure that shit out um however if you come to downtown fullerton which you should uh they're located at 825 north harbor boulevard um, it'll be the building uh, with a bunch of weird shit in it. Uh, tell them Gadzook sent you. You might even get a happy ending or something. You know, no promises. 
Uh, follow my friend Self Provoked. Uh, what Twitter Self Provoked at Self Provoked? Yeah, Twitter at Self Provoked. Instagram Self Provoked eight one eight. Hey. Uh, Facebook Self Provoked MC. What about the dot com? There's oh yeah, a, yeah. There's a. It's on a high note. Well, visit. Yeah, it's on a high note. I T S on a high note. <laughs> and that's a. Uh, it's on a high note. Uh, I T S yeah. on a high note. Yeah. That's all your merch, right? That's the merch. And hit that up. They got hats. They got trill ass windbreakers and shit. Um, yeah, go fuck with them for sure. Um, thank you again for just tuning in and and just being a part of everything we got going on. We. Me and this man, we we don't sleep much. We got big aspirations, and we drive everyone crazy around us, and we pull everyone into our lives. And sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. I feel like this one worked out, and I appreciate everyone for being here. I appreciate you guys coming out and filming and setting up lights, and just you know, it's Monday night, and here we are. My name is Gadzooks. You might know me as Zach. Uh, you can find me at fortmedia.org. That's kind of where all my my whole life is. Uh, you can read my articles, check out my photography and uh soon to be podcasts which this will be the first one you can buy these dope mugs there too and help me pay for these fucking website hosting fees that's fortmedia.org f-o-r-t media if you don't have to spell media i got nothing for you .org because .com was taken uh thank you very much thanks man i appreciate yeah, you yeah i'm all fucked up yeah. <laughs> mission accomplished all right motherfuckers Peace.